Hi, Thomas Miller, the host of the Subconscious Mind Mastery podcast and also the voice of Fred Dodson's audiobooks. And I wanted to welcome you to Home Base. This is Aspen, Colorado. That's the Aspen Ski Mountain. Yeah, we're still making turns here in mid-April. Just to, I guess we have nine more days left. And I'm not counting or anything, but there's, there's nine days left after today. Um, or, excuse me, counting today. And I'm going to go right as soon as I finish this video. Ski gear on over to Snowmass. But that is Aspen Mountain, and we got to host the FIS World Cup Championship this year. That's like the Super Bowl of skiing. It was in mid-March. We had all the big names of skiing in town for a week. It was just so much fun. Aspen is a place where uh, I moved about a year and a half ago and really didn't realize that I had this passion for skiing, but I came from another location, Dallas, Texas, and nothing against Dallas. I love Dallas, but I just had uh, the difficult years of my life were in Dallas and changed locations and changed energy. If you haven't read or listened to Fred's audiobook or book, Levels of Energy, you need to listen to that because that just totally shifts your whole paradigm of life. We'll talk about that in other videos. But came up here to this place that I just absolutely love and started skiing. And in fact, here are some shots from a recent trip to the Highlands Bowl. This is like the granddaddy of ski runs in this area. And Aspen is known for being a fairly steep area. Aspen and, and its sister mountain Highlands are known as being pretty steep areas. And, and the bowl you have to hike up to. So you can see it's just this ridge that you hike up and then incredible skiing down on these really steep, just beautiful, mushy, soft terrain that you can only get to if you hike up there. There's no chair that goes up there. It's at 12,400 feet. But I didn't realize, you know, the heart connection. I mean, I, I started skiing and I really had only skied on just occasional trips up to Colorado over the years, maybe a handful of days. And I just started skiing and started really connecting with it. I'm like, man, I love this. Love, love, love this. This is so much fun. And just kept doing it, kept doing it, kept doing it getting better and better and better and having more and more fun. And then I came across this section in Fred's latest book that's now out on the market called Increase Your Energy, where Fred ranks various sporting activities by their level of energy. Now, I'm not gonna totally give this away, but you can imagine that I was really pleased to see where skiing ranked on Fred's list. Sports on various consciousness levels. Sports and physical development form a good basis for mental and spiritual development. With a healthy body in which you feel well, it is much easier to feel well physiologically. For this section, I have muscle tested the life energy levels of various sports activities. The results still align with those intuited years ago and published in my book and audiobook, Levels of Energy. Actually, most of them are obvious to us, but it's good to muscle test them just to make sure. I've not made a comprehensive list, but have taken representative examples from which you can deduct the levels of your preferred sports. I'd like to remind you that these levels don't indicate good versus bad, but what is appropriate at various stages. For example, I do a weekly workout in the gym, even though that is not a high consciousness activity. But workout is good for physical health and the appropriate level to build my physical appearance. Contrarily, I don't do ballet, even though it is a high consciousness activity, because it's not appropriate to my inner inclinations. In order to get proper measurements while muscle testing, it's good to put personal bias and preference aside. From a 0 to 1000 energy scale, sports that would be 0 to 100 energy would include kill boxing gladiators, dogfighting, doping, game-fixing, and duck-baiting. Participation in game-fixing, doping, dog-fighting, or gladiator games, death as entertainment games, would tend to lower one's level of consciousness due to lack of integrity. Examples of 100 to 200 energy sports would include kickboxing, pub bowling, demolition derby, and street luging. These are generally mid- to low-vibe activities. While these activities may be great fun sometimes, they measure low because of their disrespect of life and their catering to the urges of the lower mind to destroy, 
desecrate, and be violent. Moderately positive energy activities of level 200 to 300 could include danger sports, cricket, skydiving, paintball, archery, badminton, baseball, American football, mountain climbing, or a workout. Most of these activities are great fun and of physical benefit. Their spiritual potential, however, is only mid-range. I didn't muscle test the reasons, but one can guess or intuit them. Up to the 300 to 400 range would be biking, soccer, horse riding, martial arts, table tennis, dancing, basketball, golf, or gymnastics. Activities at this level have a measurable and obvious benefit, not only on the body, but also on the psyche. And then at the top, the 400 to 500 range would include show dancing, ballet, tennis, sailing, and skiing. These have effects that go beyond the mere physical and mental into the spiritual. With tennis, I'm not sure why it measures that high. I tested it three times, but the others are fairly clear to me. Show dancing, for instance, requires not only the meta-consciousness to produce team synchronicity, but also enormous focus, creativity, and flow. From 500 to 700, I found no sports. The reason for this is probably that these are non-physical realms. And you know, there's, there's something else interesting about this. So the 500s level sports, skiing being one of them. The other one that was mentioned, another one on the list, was tennis. And I didn't know if you knew this or not, if you've picked up in, in the books or from Fred's website, but Fred really, really loves playing tennis. Go figure, right? So the point is, if you haven't l listened or read Levels of Energy, that would be a great groundwork. And then increase your energy is out on the market now. What a one-two punch to really up your energy levels. Once you understand the, the structure of Levels of Energy, this book, Increase Your Energy, can really take you up to a, a new game. I would really encourage both. Thank you so much for watching this video. Here's the list of all of the books and audiobooks that are now available on Audible and on iTunes, written by Fred and narrated by me. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you on the next one, and thanks for listening.